All right, as promised, isosceles trapezoids are next. Uh, on your screen here, you see a ton of information. All right, isosceles, first and foremost, means that the, uh, the left and right legs are congruent. So the segment AD is congruent to segment BC. All right, we still have the fact that the uh, top and bottom segments, we'll call those the bases, are, are parallel, rather. And another property of isosceles trapezoids is that whatever this angle is, let's say it's 100 degrees, this angle is exactly the same. So now we can make that connection between base angles up here. If that's 100, this has to be 80. Remember, they have to add up to 180 in our previous video. So they both have to be 80 degrees. All right, so that's a really, really important idea about um, isosceles trapezoids. Uh, we also took a look at, in our properties of quadrilateral video, the fact that we have ang uh, diagonals, rather. So if I draw this diagonal in here, let me draw that again. If I draw this diagonal in here, it's congruent to uh, this diagonal over here. All right, so segment AC would be congruent to segment BD. All right, and if we called this middle point E, then I have this congruent to this, this thing congruent to this thing. All right, so let's take a look at uh, some of the other items here. We have a few examples to go through. All right, first one, find the, uh, the measure. I don't know why it says length. Find the measure of the angle indicated. So we're looking for angle U. All right, we know this is isosceles because of our left and right legs. Our legs are congruent, which means our base angles are congruent. The top base angles are the same. So the measure of angle U is quite simply 95 degrees. Uh, if the question were asking you angle T, you would have to find simply the supplement, 180 minus 95. So angle T is 85. Angle W, of course, is the same. Okay? Uh, that's a pretty simple idea. Let's see if we can uh, do this one. <clears throat> so now we've got, let's see, 100 up here, 12x minus 4 down here. <coughs> All right, so what you can do at first, there are basically two different ways to show this to you. You can copy this over here, 100, 100 and 12x minus 4 will go here as well. You can make those copies and then have the whole thing add up to 360. All right, that's definitely okay for you to do. All right, so that, that equation would say 100 plus 100 plus 12x minus 4 plus 12x minus 4 equals a whole quadrilateral. And then you would solve it. Or what you can do, and I, I think I might recommend this, just look at the left-hand side. We know from our last video that since these lines are parallel, these are consecutive interiors, so they add up to 180. That'll cut your formula down. That'll cut your equation down considerably. And we solve this, right? So we have 12x uh, plus 96 equals 180. And we'll subtract 96 from both sides. That gives a nice cancellation right there. So I've got, let's see, 12x equals 84. And we'll, from here, divide, get rid of that 12 by division. And uh, we'll have x equals, uh, let's see, 7. Yeah, 7 works for me. All right, and that is your final answer. You can get that answer by doing this up here as well. So you take your pick. I, I would probably recommend the bottom one. All right, let's go to uh, number three, last one here. We have find the measure of the angle indicated for each trapezoid. So we want to find the measure of angle N, which is down here. Okay, well we have, you know, again, basically two options. We can take the uh, 12x plus 24 and kind of copy it over here take the 5x plus 20 and kind of copy it over here. All right, and then the whole thing, as I said, the whole thing adds to 360. Or we can just kind of focus on these two things, right? These two things 
add up to 180. So 12x plus 24 plus 5x plus 20 equals 180. Remember we have parallel lines. Let me draw that again. Parallel lines cut by transversal. So that's a transversal. Uh, so alternate, or excuse me, consecutive interior angles are congruent. It's not congruent. They're supplements. So we combine like terms, right? I'll combine the yellows with the yellows and the reds or the pinks with the pinks. So I get uh, 17x plus 44 equals 180. I'll subtract 44 from both sides. I get 17x equals 136. And I'll divide by 17. Uh, so let's see, that has to end in uh, 8, maybe? 80 and 56. Yeah, that's an 8. That's an 8. All right, so x is 8, and we want to know the measure of angle n. n is right here. So we have 5 times 8 plus 20. So the measure of angle n is, let's see, 40. No, yeah, 5 times 8 is 40, plus 20 is 60, 60 degrees, and that is our answer. In the next video, we're going to take a look at a little bit more of a challenge uh, as a, as a, as a uh, kind of an altitude question. Uh, what happens when we are looking for this altitude? There's a bit of a uh, trick involved here that's kind of a challenge. Uh, so this was isosceles trapezoids, and um, in our previous video we just looked at just kind of ordinary old trapezoids. And we'll uh, continue through our study of quadrilaterals.